In this video, we will learn how to sign in anonymously. So let's start this. Uh, first of all, we will go inside the decision three page dot dart. And then uh, right under the build, we will create a if a condition. So we'll say if a user is equal to null, then do something. And this something will be to return the login page. And otherwise, so if it's not null and there is a user, then return the home page. But we will need to import the home page uh, to have the information of this one. So let's import the home page and say return home page otherwise. Good. Then, uh, as you can see, we need to create the variable user. And what we will do is create the user variable. And for that, we will need to import the package Firebase Auth. So as you can see, it is the second one. Here we go. So it's Firebase Auth, Firebase Auth. Then we will say user, and user is from the Firebase Auth, as you can see. And the user will be, uh, it is a user variable, and it will be called user. That's it. So we are going somewhere. So next step will be to go inside the login page. And in this one, what we will do is we will create a raise it button. So a button inside the body of the scaffold. So we have the scaffold, the argument body, the widget raise it button with the unpress uh, button and the, uh, the unpress function, it is a trigger to do something when we press on it. And then we have a child for this raise it button and the child is what we put inside the raise it button. And this what uh, the thing that we will put inside will be a text widget with uh, the value inside sign in anno for anonymously. And the text widget is something to convert text. Then we will format document with right click format document. I will press shift alt F. Here we go. So now we have our raise it button. Next step we will trigger a function when we press on this button. So what will be the function? First of all, right after the stateless widget, we will create the, this function called login anno for login anonymously. After, in the unpressed, we will call right inside the function that we have just created. Okay, so what we will put inside this one First of all, we will need to import the fire auth, uh, Firebase Auth package right here, as you can see. And then we can uh, write some more code, code like Firebase Auth.instance. So this is to start the Firebase Auth. And then we will say dot sign in and we will find the sign in anonymously. That's good. If we go over sign in, we can see that this is a future user credential. Okay, so we will uh, call this a future user credential. So inside the, the bracket, it's like only the what is the value. So the user credential. Okay, so we will say a user credential instead and because we are not using the future, we will need to say await on the other side. So we say await, but to use the await, we need the async. So we will add async right here. And this will return in the future a user credential. So the async was uh, after the login anno. Good. So what does this do is we are signing with anonymously and this is waiting, and when it's done, this will give the value to the user credential. Good. Next step, we will have the user right here, as you can see on the, on the other page, and we will need to send this value to the, to the first page, so the decision tree. So how are we going to send back the value? First, we will say a final function. This function will have a user inside, and we will need to uh, call this one on sign in anonymously, for example. So on sign in anno. There we go. And then we will need to create the constructor. So you can click on quick fix and create constructor. But I will show you how to create it 
manually. Okay, so let's delete this one and we will create our own constructor. First, to create a constructor, you recall the name of the class, so login page. So you see login page. Then you put the, the two pair of brackets like that. And then you say this dot the name of the function. So on sign in anonymously. And you put a semicolon at the end. That's it. We have created our constructor. And then we will add the at required to tell the decision tree that we need this absolutely. So as you can see, the decision tree is now yellow to say us, to tell us that we have a little problem. So if you press control space, you will have your argument right here. So you click on it and then we can go back inside the login page. Okay. Next step will be to, uh, when we start this function, so the raise it button will trigger this, this login anno and the login anonymously will then uh, have a user credential by calling the Firebase sign in. And then we will have a user. So what we can say is, okay, then call the on sign in anno and put the user inside. So the user is user credential dot user. So this, will trigger the function on sign in anno and this function will send the user information through the decision three page as you can see right here and to get the value we will add a function like that we will say user then send something else and this something else will be the new function that we want so what we, this will what will happen when we receive the value user. We will create a function called onRefresh, okay? Then when we receive the information, when someone triggered a button, we receive the user on this decision tree page, and then we trigger something else called the onRefresh. So we receive the user, we call onRefresh, and we re-give the user inside onRefresh. Then inside the function onRefresh, we can call the variable user, but just to make some uh, uh, difference, we will say uh, user cred for user credential. It is just to make a difference between the user and the user credential. So we'll need to change both, both of uh, those three. Good. After that, so we receive the user credential and we start the, to trigger the function on request and we say user is equal to user credential. That's it. And we will need to refresh the screen by saying set state and we put the user. So the set state will rebuild everything. So this, uh, what is after the build, it will rebuild everything. And now it will say, if you, if user is equal to something, then go in this page. So if we click on it, as you can see, we are now inside the home page. And if you go inside your Firebase console, console you will see that in authentication, we have an anonymous user. So we were in this tab and now in the user tab, we have a user anonymous. So that's it for this video. And see you on the next one. À la prochaine. Bye. Au revoir.